stay there, okay? Tell me how the little girl oh, is. Oh, I'm so sorry. You'll have to ask the doctor. I'm sorry. Excuse me. My little girl is inside. Yes, I really have to... I know. Uh, excuse me. Is your Mr. Ramos out here? That's very good. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. I'm sorry, it doesn't look good. Don't tell me she's gonna die, little man. Well, right now, it is so difficult to tell how she's gonna respond from those injuries. She suffered a severe blow to the head. And with her age and a recent illness, it's all working against her. I have to see her later, after the x-ray. No, you don't understand. I have to talk to her. She's the only one that knows what happened to Anna. I have to... I'm sorry, it's gonna have to be later. It's gonna be a while before she can talk to anybody. I promise you. The minute there's any change, I'll contact you. Right now, you're going to have to excuse me. I have to order those tests. Okay. Okay, this is the part that BJ hates. She sees stars. What do you see? Anything? How is she? Well, actually, she's terrific. She's the best patient I've ever had, really. I was uh, just telling her that recently I had examined BJ, and BJ was a very good patient, too. Hey. Hey, did you hear that? Tony says you're a good patient. Well, no more poking around on you, okay? The thing you've got to do now is get some sleep. I bet you hate that, don't you? You know, BJ's at the age when I tell her to go to sleep, she can't stand it. You that way? Well, we will be outside. I'll, I'll be waiting for you, sweetheart. I love you. Why won't you say anything? She won't talk. Well, listen, the first thing I want to do is put your mind at rest. Now, there is nothing physically wrong with her. Oh, thank God. There's no broken bones, there's no bruises, there's no cuts, and there's no evidence that she was abused in any way. Oh, such a relief, thank you. One thing I'm a little worried about right now is the lack of response. What is it? What do you think it is? Do you think it's, it's a shock? I don't know. I hope so. Actually, if you uh, allow me to, I'd like to get a second opinion from Dr. Foster. Yeah, anything, please. Mike, you and Tony, search the ground. Right. Johnson inside. They're already dusting. Yes, ma'am. 
Oh, please don't tell me I can't go in there, please. I should, but I won't. Oh, Oh, no, I what haven't, but I still think it's going to Don't tell me I can't stand here, please, Sean. All right, Karina. Okay, well, uh, how is Robbie? And Phil, uh, Philomena? And, and, and Anna? And has Robert been told about this? I yet? said you could come in. No questions, I please. I just need some answers, please, Sean. All right, all right. Except for shock, we think Rob is going to be okay, but Philomena's been badly hurt. Oh, this is horrible. What happened? So far, robbery has been ruled out. Uh, well, if it's not robbery, what in the world? You still haven't told me about Anna. I mean, if she's not at the hospital with Duke and she's not here, I mean, well, where is she? I mean, I saw her car outside. And her purse is still here, too. Sean, she wouldn't leave here without her purse. Wait, hold it, hold it. Look, I've got a news blackout on this thing. Look, I am not going to publicize this. I just, I am here as Anna's friend. You are. All right, in that case, I'll tell you. Sean thinks it is kidnapping. And at this point, I tend to agree with him. Oh, Sean, who would do this to her? Who would do this? Someone who goes by the name of the snowman. Oh, Sean, this is serious. Well, Robert didn't think it was too serious. Remember I told you he was getting all those threatening notes? Yes. Well, every one of those notes were signed the snowman. Then Robert found out that other police officials were getting the same kind of threatening notes. So he was convinced that whoever was sending them was just a simple cop hater. And they weren't after him. Well, the chief and I did not agree. He did it, Anna. Well, it, I mean, if Anna has been kidnapped, does this mean Robert's in trouble also? I don't hey, that's exactly what we were talking about when you came in. Sean, mm. I'll tell you what, I'm going to call some of those cops, get in touch with them, see if the ones who got those notes, see if anything like this has happened to any of them anywhere else. In the meantime, Robert's got to be told what's happened, if I can find him. Well, I know where he is. Where is he? He's with Felicia. With Felicia where? Well, I don't know that. Well, honey, you just said Well, that... I, all I know is Felicia said that she's with him. They, he and, she and Robert are on an out-of-town assignment someplace. Chief, I'm going to go over to his office, see if I can find out where they're going, all right? All right, I'll be at headquarters. You stay in touch. Uh, right. Sean, wait a minute. I want to go with you, please. Honey, all right. We're on the same okay, team. Good. Come yeah. with me. Okay. Well, she's already gone, but her car is still there, so I'm sure they took off. Well, now I checked. It was still in its regular spot at my penthouse garage. That's terrific. Now what are we going to do? Oh. No sense in sending out an APB and their license plates, that's for sure. I just knew that would work. I knew it would. No, it's not going to. Neither is this. All I'm, sit all I'm doing here is making a mess. Okay, honey, let me try it, okay? A lot of good it's going to do, I'll oh, tell you. You don't know. Maybe you missed something. I doubt it. Robert thinks too much like me. In what way? First lesson from the WSB is always keep significant information in your head and not on a piece of paper. Darling, we all break rules. Now, where do you want me to start, okay? Anyway, like. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get her upstairs. I'll make the arrangements. No way. No, you can't wait. What about you, take? Intensive care. The X-rays are showing what I thought. I mean, they turned out negative, but she's suffering a massive concussion. I know. I'm sorry. There's going to be something that you can do for her, though, yeah. The only thing anyone can do right now is just to monitor her closely and to pray for the best. Excuse me. Mr. Avery. Yes, how's Robert? Oh, I know you, that you must be very anxious. I concur with Tony's findings. Robin is suffering from post-traumatic stress syndrome. In simple words, it means that she's blocking out everything that happened to her. And considering the number of things that could have happened during the robbery or the attack, her condition is not unusual. She's not in any pain. Please tell me that she's not. No, physically, she's, she's not in any pain. And emotionally, her system is protecting her from feeling very much of anything. In time, she'll be able to handle the truth. You have to do what you can. You have to help her, not just for herself, but also for her mother. Roman's the only one that knows what happens to Anna. You talk to him. I'll take care of the transfer. Okay. Listen, while Dr. Jones is uh, taking care of the final arrangements, I'd like to tell you about the course of treatment that we want to prescribe for her. You got to do whatever you can to help her. It could mean her mother's life. You know. You'll like pediatrics. There are several children there your age. I'll get your wheelchair and we'll go for a nice ride.
boy. Oh, boy. You tried to get out, didn't you, Anna? Didn't you? I asked you a question. I'm not your dumb animal. All right? Her partner is not dumb. In fact, I'm going to show you, Anna, just how smart my partner is. I'm going to open the door to your cage. Now, with one command, I could have him tear your throat out like a piece of meat. Hey, he's not dumb. Satan, stay! You see? He understands my every word. Now, do you still think of him as a dumb animal? No. You've trained him real well. Thank you. I do everything well. At least as well as your husband, Mrs. Scorpio. That's not my name. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. Yeah, what else did you forget? Meaning what? Well, I don't know. Maybe you've made some kind of mistake somewhere along the line. I don't like your attitude, Anna. Something gone wrong with your plan? I don't like commotion, that's all. You don't like commotion, is that no. it? Or was I making too much noise? Sorry, I won't do it again. Because it's only a matter of time before someone comes and finds me and you fail. Uh, never! I won't fail. I won't fail. No, 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 I won't fail. I have worked too long and too hard at this. I, I knew exactly what to expect from Robert Scorpio. <laughs> you see, I knew I'd have to be very clever to outsmart him. Years ago, he thought he'd outsmarted me, but he hadn't. I endured. I, I endured years of torment locked away in that place. But now it's my turn. It's my chance to turn the key on him. My turn to cause him to suffer. You hear that, love? You hear me, Anna? Robbie's going to suffer. <laughs> Comfy, are we? You know, I'm not responsible for what happened to you. Of course you're not. Robert is. I've never hurt you. I don't even know who you are. He hurt me. Well, why are you making me suffer for something I didn't even do? Because he made me suffer. He wanted me kept in a cage for the rest of my life. But you haven't been. I mean, here you are. You're alive and well. No thanks to your husband. He's not... <clears throat> you know, I was disappointed about that at first. And then I realized, I realized you hold an even more exalted position. You are the mother of his child. Don't you ever touch her. Ever. And don't you ever threaten me. Ever. Anna, I really don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt anyone. Except Robert. Yes. I want to give him exactly what he gave me. I want him to know what it's like to be locked away from the rest of the world. I want to cause him pain. Endless, excruciating pain. Pain so great that he'll pray for death. You really hate him that much? More. What did he do to you? I can't believe he hasn't boasted about it for the last three and a half years. Um, you know, it's funny. Robert always considered himself a consummate professional. So ironic. I am the consummate professional. Robert got in my way. I had the perfect plan. But Robert ruined it. I almost had the perfect wife, too. Until Robert turned Celia against me. Celia Corson. You know Celia? Mm -hmm. She's beautiful, isn't she? Yeah. She always was. We were childhood sweethearts, Celia and I. We were very happy together. 
I love Celia so much. And she loved me. Celia loved me, that is, until Robert did a terrible thing. Robert destroyed Celia's trust in me. At that point, I knew I had to kill him. He would never do something oh, like that. It's true, he did. Oh, I realized Celia could have refused to go along with it, but Robert had already turned her against me. Do you have any idea what betrayal feels like, Anna? I knew I had to kill her. I knew that that was the only way to free myself of her and her memory. You see, as long as she was alive, I would have gone on loving Celia. You tried to kill her? Yes. We were alone at the cabin. It could have ended so peacefully, so quietly. And our hero arrived. <laughs> Robbie ruined it. Do you know something? I want to ask you a question. No. No more questions. No more talk about Celia, Anna. No, no, it's about Robert. You just said that he was a consummate professional. Why well, hasn't it occurred to you that he was just doing his job? He had to do that. It's not personal. Bravo, bravo. Say, what a performance, hmm? <laughs> Wonderful performance. I think the lady doth protest too greatly. Too much. Shakespeare, you know. Of course you know. See, I can recite the play, the act, the scene. I had a lot of time to read Shakespeare, Anna. I read a lot of Shakespeare while I was locked away like an animal, just as you are now. Get him away from me. Get him away from me. Satan! Come here! Satan! You know, Anna, I wasn't prepared for one thing. I wasn't prepared for you. I have to be honest. I was prepared for Robert's daughter. <laughs> See his teddy bear? <laughs> and this, this, this rag. This was a scarf. Satan tore it to shreds. It's all right. It's quite all right. I've got the next best thing. I've got the mother of Robert's child. He loves you nearly as much as he does Robert. Don't you see how wrong you are about this? The only woman Robert ever loved is dead. You're wrong. Not yet. She's not yet dead. But she will be. She's just tired. Let's get some rest. I, do, I don't think she doesn't even know that I'm here. She will. Isn't there some way we can get through to get through something else? Well, I don't think you're going to succeed tonight. You're both exhausted. You need to get some rest. And I'm fine. No, I, I've prescribed something to help her sleep. And then tomorrow we'll try to get her to come back to reality. In the meantime, I agree with Tony. The best thing you can do for her is to go get some rest yourself. No, I'm, I'm not going to leave her here alone. I'm going to stay here. Well, don't worry. I plan to spend some time with her myself tonight. She'll be all right. Okay. Thank you. Duke, I got here as soon as I could. How are they? For the miss, she's bad. She's unconscious. Robin, I don't know. She's in shock or something. She just, she's staring off into space. She's not responding. She's bad. I'm so sad. What about Anna? Nothing. Duke, don't worry. We've got a full search going now. Our whole department, all the neighboring forces, they've all been alerted. And you're still sure she's been kidnapped? Well, at first I wasn't convinced, but yeah, now I am. Sam, to further notice, I want somebody on this door at all times. Yes, sir. Well, you don't think Robin's still in danger, do you? Better safe than sorry, right? And right now, I have no way of knowing 
what or who I'm dealing with. Excuse me. We'll make sure everything's all right. I'll take turns. All right. All right. He may not know who he's dealing with, but I certainly do. You mean Jerome? Yes, I mean Jerome. He said if I didn't take care of Carruthers this week, he'd do so. He bloody well meant it, didn't he? Wait a minute. Where are you going? I'm going to call him. And say what? I don't know what I'm going to say. He got Anna into this. He can get her out of it. Wait. Wait a minute. For the last time, I want to talk to Jerome. The answer won't change, pal. I have something very important I want to discuss with him. Well, he does as you got with him. You discuss with me first. Tell him this, you play with I don't care if you're the king of England. Listen, you could be in big trouble, man, if you don't put me through immediately, okay? Something tells me you're the one who's in trouble. Big trouble. What do you have to do to get through this? You're on very, very important business I want to discuss with him. What now, Mr. Lavery? Jerome. What can I do for you? Where's my wife? Excuse me? And now, don't play any games with me. I know you're behind it. What have you done with her? What do I have to do to get her back? You're telling me that your wife's missing? <laughs> Another man, perhaps. You make jokes with me. You had them kidnap her. What exactly do I have to do to get her? It's never wise to discuss things over the telephone. Well, in that case, we don't have to discuss them at all. I know exactly what you want. Fine. Then we have nothing else to talk about. Apparently, Mrs. Lavery's been kidnapped. He thinks I'm responsible. I had nothing to do with it, of course, but he doesn't know that. If he's willing to finish off Carruthers to get her back, far be it from me to stop. I don't like to go away and leave you. I have to. It'll only be for maybe a day or two. Maybe three days at most. You won't even miss me, you're gonna be. You're gonna be so busy getting better. And then, when I come back, I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring your mommy with me. You'd like that, wouldn't you? We're gonna be together. You mean your mother. Nobody's ever gonna hurt you again. Sweetheart. I love you more than I can ever tell you. I'm only gone away for, for you and for mommy. She doesn't even know we're here. She's, she's not responding to anything. High five, Robin. Hey, old chum. Give me some skin, huh? What is it to reconsider? It's my fault the kid's like this. It's my fault Anna's in danger. I better get her back safe. I'm the only one who can. Chow time, Anna. Yes, indeed. A little something here to boost your spirits. Perk you up. <laughs> you see, I, I look after my women. Here you go, love. I'm not hungry. I don't want that. Oh, Anna. Anna, please don't disappoint me. I'll not ask again. Take it. That's a good girl. It's much better. You see, 
I don't want you dying of starvation or anything else like that until Robert arrives. Didn't you hear me? You see, that's part of my plan. Wouldn't you like to know more? We're asking so many questions. It's obviously you're curious. What are you going to do? I'm not really going to do anything. You see, you're going to. You're going to be the bait to lure Robert to me. And then he'll get both of us out of here. He'll do no such thing. Now, I've prepared for every eventuality. Please eat. I prepared it myself. And I enjoy cooking. I become a little upset when the people I've prepared a meal for refuse to eat, however. I promise it's not poison. I just told you. I don't want anything to happen until Robert gets here. That's the way. Bon appetit. Now, now we can continue our little dinner conversation. Let's see. Where were we? Oh, yes, yes. When Robbie arrives. No, I'm not going to treat him to a meal, not by any means. <laughs> what I am going to treat him to are your final screams and cries for air. <laughs> he won't have anything to do except sit helplessly as you are fenced in brick by brick behind an airtight wall. <laughs> you see, nobody's going to know that you're there. Nobody, of course, except for the three of us. Robbie will spend the rest of his life chained to this fence, haunted by that vision. The memory of you tormenting his every moment. You Oh, I am. Don't ever say that again. Don't ever say that again. If you do, I won't wait. I'll kill you now. She was wide-eyed all night. Yeah. How long do you think before she'll wake up? Well, she's still under sedation. I have to talk to that little girl. She knows what happened to her mother. Without her, I haven't got a thing to go on. Yes, but Chief Lewis, I don't know if it's going to be any good trying to talk to her. She's totally withdrawn right now. I feel like a blind man in a coal mine. Follow me in a coma? Robin like this? Chief Lewis, even if she were talking, she might not have the answers to your questions. But I have to start somewhere, don't I? Patrick, don't, don't tell me you have some bad news. Who's going to tell Robin this one? Oh. Don't mean I cared for her like she was one of her own. She even called her grandma. Oh, Patrick, don't tell me. I'm afraid so. Philomena had, had suffered from a terrible flu last week. The concussion she suffered from last night's assault. Rage. It's just too much for her. She had a stroke. She died ten minutes ago. Oh, my God. So now we've got a murder. Listen, folks, I'm sorry to have to ask this question, but Patrick, did Philomena say anything before she died? Just something about a telephone repairman. A very bad telephone repairman. Do me a favor. Get in touch with the phone company. Ask them if they had a repairman over at the Lavery household. Yeah. Hold on, Sam. Just a second. I'm going to have a little problem to take care of right here. I'll be right back with you. Hold that. Oh. Thank goodness. Hi, Hello, family Jimmy. friends. Hi. Maybe you can help me. I have been playing telephone roulette all morning long with this hospital, trying to find somebody to give me some information, and nobody will give me anything. You'd think I was talking in Albanian the way they were looking at me, you know? What is going on? Well, we have no here. further information oh, for the press, Miss Phil. Oh, I, How long do you expect me to sit on this? I am... Ex Excuse me. Chief Lewis, you have a phone call. All right. You don't move. Yeah, hello. Chief Lewis here. 
Oh, Sean. Yeah. Go ahead, tell me. I'm open to it. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. All right. I'll tell headquarters I'm on the other line with them right now. Hey, in the meantime, would you do me a favor? Would you please talk some sense into that lady friend of yours? Oh, she did. Well, I appreciate that. I didn't know. But, uh, look, she's trying to blow this whole thing open on the 6 o'clock news, so... Okay, thanks. Hold on. Tiffany! Please? I just heard about what you and Sean did last night. Thank you. Look. Uh, Sean would like to talk to you. Oh, trying to push around a little macho authority on me? It's not going to work, whatever it is. No, you listen to me. They, they always say that. Sean. Sean. Sean, no. Of course I don't. Oh. Sure. Okay, what do you want me to, what do you want me to do? I did that for four hours last night at Robert's office. Come. Uh, okay, okay. I said I will, I will, okay? Yeah, I love you too, buddy. Well, he's right. Anna's in so much danger right now, I don't think that I should try to publicize anything right now. Thank you. Oh, my God. I forgot to ask Sean, did he track down Scorpio? No, that's what he wants me to do. He wants me to go back to his apartment and sit there and wait for Robert to call. And then he wants me to get him back here on the double without telling him why. You're kidding. No. You're not going to be able to. He's going to nail you to the wall with questions. I mean, come on. He's not going to give up a case just to have a cup of tea with an old friend. Yeah, don't I know that? I mean, I guess I'll just have to tell him he's going to have to trust me for once and do it. You know, <laughs> I don't know what else to do. Good luck. You're going to need it. Fine. You're in pretty good shape. But, tell you what, little lady, you're going to have to help us help you. Your nurse says you're not drinking any water. And you know what happens if you don't drink any water? We're going to have to feed you intravenously. Okay. All right. It sounds normal. Yeah, pretty good. Do you want to hear your heart, Robin? He used to think it was fun, huh? Robin? Please? Robin? Would you like to listen to my heart? Boom, boom. Or Simone's, huh? <laughs> I've tried everything I can think of, but all she does is lie there. Why don't you leave me alone with her for a few minutes? Okay, I'll be outside. Thank you. I just did that to prove that you can hear me. You can't hear me, can't you? You don't have to use any words. You can just shake your head yes or no or no or yes, whichever comes first. That was a little joke. A very little joke. Listen, Robin, are there any movies you especially like? Say, uh, The Three Stooges. Snow White, Gone with the Wind. You know, I can set a VCR up right over there and we can watch any movie you like, huh? What do you think? Dr. Hardy. Yes. Chief Lewis is here. He'd like to see you. Okay, I'll be right out. Thank you. Robin, I just want you to know that everyone here loves you. And we're worried about you. Anything? No, nothing yet. How can I break through to that little girl? I can't find Duke. I can't find Scorpio. God knows what kind of trouble Anna's got herself in. She isn't just being stubborn, though. You know, she, she's not even taking any nourishment. There is one thing we haven't tried. Would you help me with something? Anything. Dig up some photographs and get them down here, say, of Duke, Anna, and Robert. Happier times if you can find them. Oh, Absolutely. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, this is for Robin? Oh, yes, it is. Could I take it in? Sure. Thank, Thank you. you. Tom. Talk to you later. Okay, see you then. Yes. Ta-da! Here we go. It's like grub time. Shall we set up the table, madame? There we go. There we go. Want to bring the bed up a bit? 
Get the little lady comfortable. Magic. Let's see what we have here. Ta-da. Wow. Look at those eggs. Mm. Yum. Mm. Some bacon, some juice. Hey, you're going to love them. Mm. And some oatmeal. Oh, jelly. Look, Robin, I'll make a deal with you. If you eat all of this food, I'll bring in all three of those movies and we can watch them all at the wow. same time. What do you say? Great. Does that sound like a good idea? Rufus? No, is I've got to find Robert and Felicia, and I've got to do it as soon as possible. Felicia Jones? How many Felicias do you know? Well, Scott Baldwin knows where she is. At least where she was. He drove her someplace yesterday. Are you yesterday. kidding? Where? I don't know. You have to ask Scott. <gasps> That is, if you're speaking to if him. I'm speaking to him, I'll speak to him, all right? I'll do more than speak to him. Hey, can you tell me where she is, please, please? Scotty! It, it, uh, it's the answer machine. You'll be back at noon. I'll be back at noon. Okay, hi, hello. Scotty, this is Tiffany. If you are there, please pick up. This is urgent. This is very important. Okay, okay, I guess you're not there. Okay. Would you please call me uh, either at Sean's apartment or at the station? As soon as possible, it is urgent. <sighs> okay. Okay, where could they be? He could probably... Oh, uh, Kelly's... No, he would probably be at the floating rib, at the floating rib. Where can I look for him? Oh, uh, well, where did you find him this morning? Where did you meet him? He called me and invited me to breakfast at the Port Charles Hotel. Port Charles Hotel? Maybe he's still there. Great. Yes. Oh, uh, answering service on. Let's go. Come on. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay. There was locked the door. Okay. Great. Oops. Robin, don't toss like that. You'll pull on the needle and hurt yourself. I know. I'll get another pillow to prop that arm up. Don't move, honey. finished soon. Tell me if I'm in the right place or not. Who is it? I'm um, here to pick up clothing and personal effects for this Philomena Soltini. Died a couple of hours ago. Go back to emergency and start over. They have you on the wrong floor. This is Robin and she's very much alive. Sorry. Oh my gosh. No. No. Robin. No. Robin, baby, what's wrong? She hates that IV worse than anything. Tossed and turned so I thought she was going to yank it out. Ah, poor baby. Then she started crying about something. And since then, she's been closed up tighter than ever. Well, that's good in a way. Some response is better than nothing at all. Yeah, and who likes an IV? Tell you what, why don't you go on your break, because we're going to be here a while. Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay. I know that IV doesn't feel very good, sweetheart, but... It's the only way we can get some nourishment in you until you start eating again. Robin? If anything, she looks more tormented than before. I see that. Let me try this. Robin? I'd like you to do a favor for me. I'd like you to think about your father. Think of what he looks like. How he smiles and how he laughs. All the happy times you spent together, maybe at the zoo or playing games, carrying on, whatever. Right here, I have a picture of your father. Robin? What do you call him, Daddy? Hmm? Is this your Daddy, Robin? You want to look at the picture? 
Your daddy's coming to visit you very, very soon. He's out of town. They're getting in touch with him, but he's coming back. You want to see the picture, Rob? It's your daddy, isn't it? She is trying. It's wonderful, Robin. I know you can do it. I know you can. Show her the other one. Okay. Robin, do you remember when your mother married Duke? Hmm? Do you remember how beautiful she looked in that gown and how handsome Duke was? Hmm? Well, look. Mm. Here's a picture of your mother and Duke. I don't know. These are happy people. Does that upset you, Robin? Excuse hmm? me? Yes, Dr. Hardy or Dr. Ravel. Chief Lewis wants to see one of you as soon as possible. Tom, you go. Let yeah, I'll deal with him. Here. It's all right. Any change? Well, there's nothing to write home about. Some emotional response, but she still isn't speaking. Thank you. Well, Philomena was right about that bad telephone man she talked about at the house. He wasn't a telephone man, obviously. He just had a disguise on so you'd get inside and cut the telephone wires. Have you found Scorpio yet? No. We know where he's supposed to be, but so far I haven't been able to get in touch with him. The big question is, will he be able to help us find Anna before something happens to her? That's why I gotta talk to her. Hey! Maybe I could talk to her. No, really, we've no, known each other for no, a long time. No, Chief, I'm sorry. I can't let you do that. Robin is very fragile right now. What seems like the most innocent question to us could send that child right over the edge. I just can't let you do it. We don't want that to happen. I'm telling you, Doc, that child may be the key to saving her mother's life. been up to this time. She's very stubborn, isn't she, Satan? She just doesn't seem to learn. I've learned how vicious you can be. <laughs> well, if you learn that, love, why is it you can't get it through your thick skull that I am never, ever going to let you out of here? There is no way you can escape and no one is coming to oh, your rescue. Oh, come on. There are hundreds of police out there looking for me right now. They're going to tear the city apart for a police officer. Correction, Anna. Correction. Ex-police officer. Your spit, now. Aren't you worried? What, me? Me, Mommy? Yeah. About what mistake is you've made that's going to lead them to us? I made no mistakes. Of course you've made a mistake. All small-time fanatics make mistakes. I think it's because they want to be found. Yep, yep. That way the world will see just how yep, clever they honey. nearly... Careful! Much better. Much better. Someone's going to find us. Someone? Someone. Hmm, rings a bell. Someone, someone, someone. <laughs> someone. Could we be speaking of Robbie Scorpio, love? Robbie? <laughs> yes, yes, Anna, I believe you're right. I believe Robbie is going to find us. 
Robbie's going to find us when I'm good and ready for him to find us. Otherwise, Robbie couldn't find the lint in his navel, Anna. Now. I suggest you back away from this fence. You're beginning to make my fun nervous. Yeah, Lawrence. Buses, trains, everything. We're taking the waterfront apart brick by brick. This telephone man, uh, he must have had a company truck. Did somebody see that? Seems Phil was the only one. <sighs> God bless. Yeah. Hey, what's happening with Robin? You know she's in post-traumatic shock? Something about she refuses to talk. No, she's not refusing. She can't talk. It's a much different psychological situation. What she's trying to do is block out the memory of what happened so she won't have to keep reliving the fright. Like a wound going numb before the pain sets in. Exactly. Thank God you're here. We're hoping you can bring her back. Philomena is really dead. Did she suffer? No. I don't think she did. Someone's going to pay for this. temperamental you don't feed him very much the dog's temperament couldn't possibly be better and i feed him exactly the right amounts of the best food money can buy do you know less about dogs than you do about humans you are such a sick pathetic coward <clears throat> careful anna you were going to take a little girl away from the family i just told you to be careful did i not We've got a problem here. What we have here is failure to communicate. And if you don't learn to behave yourself, I have a solution. I think I might just... What's wrong? I can't... You can't let him leave me alone. You're faking it. You're faking it, Anna. Maybe I am faking it. Just leave me alone, OK? When was the last time you ate? It must have been that delicious dinner you cooked us. You can't do this to me. You can't do this to me. Do you understand? I, I need to help you. I need you to eat, Anna. I need you healthy for my plan to work. What difference does it make? I'm going to die, aren't I? It makes a difference to me, and I am in charge here. You stay. You stay. Say, come here, boy. Come here. You stand guard. You stand guard for our friend here. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> no, she's our guest. We decide when to leave. Thank you very much to see you. Rapidly rinse mouth, then immediately a glass of milk. Do not induce vomit. Poison.
She knows about Philomena, Tom. I saw that. No one told her they wouldn't. That means she, she can understand what we're saying, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Sweetheart, listen to me. I've never broken a promise to you in my life. And when I tell you I'm going to find Mommy, and I'm going to bring her back, and everything's going to be fine, know that I mean it. I'm also going to find out who did this, and I'm going to... years of experience here. Highly trained fighting machine. I can't even protect my own daughter. I can't even make her talk to me. Oh, come on, Robert. She'll talk to you once you can. Just give her time. What if we don't have time? But this... This ruins her life. Oh, come on, that's not gonna happen to Robin. Could. Shock does weird things to people. Especially little children. And what about Anna? What are we all doing? Oh, come on, we're doing the same thing here. We're trying to get information The whole force is working on this. Thing. Without a bloody clue. Where's Lavery? He knows about this. He adores the child. Why isn't he here? No one knows where he is. Wait a minute. What do you mean, no one knows? Uh, last I saw of him was last night when he brought Robin in. He was really shook up. No one's seen him all day. How do we know he hasn't been taken out by whoever took Anna? Oh, thought that never even occurred to me. Maybe Anna was just the target of opportunity. Duke wasn't in the house. Maybe they've got him now. Maybe they've snuffed him out as we speak. We better find him. Or maybe he's involved. In the kidnapping of his own wife? Possibility. Unlikely in this case. However, we'll check everything out. You know, Duke could be in hock to the mob again. So they took Anna to get to him. still tied in in some way. Owed money. Got sucked into something. It'd be a real shocker. I mean, Anna really thought he'd cut all his ties. It's a shock, but not a surprise. He's been down that road before. Including lying about it. In fact, it's the road the bugger came into town on. Hey, any truth in this, Anna will die. Well, if we don't find her, she's gonna die anyway. Listen, I want to talk to Angel Moran. I want to find out what he knows about this. Right. What's this? No, it's a loop like it. Your old master corrupt is allowed to live around. He wasn't walking around, he wasn't dead. I didn't come here to have a debate with a moron. I told Victor I'd get him when the place closed. Go get him. But Victor ain't gonna... Shut up! I said go get him. Do you understand? Dude, you shut, shut up, up dude. You shut, shut up! Dude, you gotta listen to me. No, I won't listen to you. Just you keep your mouth shut. Do you understand? I listen to that garbage out. You keep your mouth shut. Oh, you being a fool, Duke. I'm a dead man, I know that. Victor put a contract out on me, I'm history. But, but what about you? You're still alive. He hasn't got anything on you. Yeah, we'll see about that in a minute then, won't we? No, he's gonna kill us both, don't you see that? That's what's gonna happen here. Look, if we leave now together... I said shut up. You've got a gun, we can get to Brazil. I got money. Yeah, you got money. You got Andy Matthews money in Brazil. That's what started the whole bloody thing. Then you got my wife involved. Now, you've said enough. Just you put a lid in that, Jonathan. Put a bloody lid in that, okay? Thank you. Nothing. So, no one's seen Angel either. I got an APB out on him and Duke both. Good. Listen, there's something hidden in what we already know here. There always is. We're going to sit down and just kind of hash it out. But I'm pretty sure that she's still in town. I'm not. Let's go to the cafeteria. Hmm? 
I'll join you. All right. Sam? Yeah. Felicia? Anything? No, she's the same. Is it okay if I read her some fairy tales? Tom thought that might be a good idea. Oh, that's great. Yeah, get her mind off. Um, Philomena and her mother. What kind of fairy tales does she like, you know? Anna and Philomena are always new. Cinderella. Uh, anything on this? Okay, I'll see what I can find. Robert! I can't believe what's going on. Is there any word on Anna? How's, no. how's Robin? Not yet. As for Robin, well, you can see for yourself. She's in now. Some sort of shock. Can't speak. I know, I heard. I'm really sorry about all this. Appreciate that. Is there any clue who did this and why? No one at the moment. I'm about to sit down with the police and have a skull session. Go ahead. Sure. Go. Anna. Anna, where are you? Anna! Right. Good. I was concerned that in your weakened state you might have flushed yourself down the toilet. <laughs> got something for you. I've got some food, some good food. In fact, it's the very same food that I had myself for dinner. Comes from a very fine Chinese takeout. Do they deliver? Anna, that is pathetically transparent. I was not about to let a delivery boy lead anybody here. I picked it up. Too smart for me, aren't you? You flatter me. Now, eat up, love. No more fainting spells, what? Um. I'll get you chopsticks. Thank you. Would you prefer a fork? No, these are fine. Very thoughtful of you there. Thank you. They were free. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Don't you love the sound of that word, Anna? Free. Free. Yes. Yes. Good boy, Satan. Good boy. You've been a very good boy today. I have to give you a little something extra to eat tomorrow. Mm hmm What's the matter, Anna? Don't you like it? Yeah. Uh, I just kind of forgot how to use these guys or so. Well, my goodness, look at the time. In a couple of minutes, we can hear more about you on the news. You know what? Can I walk? Anna, have you always had this problem with indecisiveness? Yes. I'll get you a fork. Something to eat. Just you and me. I hope this works. Look. Great. Hey. Can you believe that? You're willing to tear me apart. You don't eat my food. And here we have one fourth for the lady's request. And now for a news break. Thank you. Anything this evening, this the summit moved two steps closer and three steps back as both sides disagreed over agenda items. Spokesmen insisted the summit would take place this summer as planned, while other observers conclude that the American presidential campaign will probably cause further delays. In local news, the search continues for former chief of the Port Charles Police, oh, Anna Devane Lavery, missing since yesterday, with no leads as to her whereabouts and no clues reported. Stay tuned to this station for all the news <laughs> on leads, our no clues. news show. Precisely. Nor will there be until I decide the time is right. You see? Don't go anywhere, love. I'll be back. Okay. Mmm.